studio live majesty crush hey. hi boys what's up how you doing we're doing hi. great how are you guys doing better than you <laughs> that's dave and that's odell odell plays the drums and dave sings the songs and by the way we're gonna and d-man we're the ones over here who really don't matter tonight no, because these guys are the big stars. Well, everyone already knows who you guys are. So. Oh, that's right. So shut stars. up, you guys. We're Let me talk. <laughs> okay, oh, <great>. great. <laughs> but uh, I guess the reason you guys are here, Love 15, new CD on Dolly Electra Records. You guys, congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, they said it together. <laughs> that's so Thanks. nice. Yeah, yeah. We've been waiting a long time for this one, so. Well, well, how long has well, it been since, since you guys were signed, what? A well, we and got and signed uh, the end of last year, and then we actually began recording the record in January. And um, we were originally were going to put it out April of this year, but uh, some things changed, and our philosophy changed, our battle plan changed. So we decided to wait until College Radio got back in um, in September. So it's going to come out September 28th, Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, well, okay, how did you guys, I mean, every, you know, you always hear about bands, um, it's always a fluke how they got signed or something like that. How did you guys get signed? What did happen? Major what fluke, happened? right? Okay, what <laughs> happened? <laughs> we put out a single called Sunny Pie. It was the first thing we put out on our own uh, label, Volva, and we got it distributed to a few stores, and one store was in New York City, and uh, A&R people these days are, they're not actually listening to so many demo tapes on, on offices. They're going out there and finding out what the buzz is and what's happening on the streets, so, luckily enough, uh, there's a record store called Kim's Underground, and the A&R person at Dolly Records picked up our single. And uh, Well, kind of close, though. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was that Dave's version. version two. <laughs> Twin Cities pretty much did the distribution, and, uh, you know, Alan at Play It Again really helped us a lot, you know, with the contacts, and Michael Siegel, obviously. And, our guitar uh, player. Right. And uh, Alternative Press ran a story on uh, yeah, Sunny right. Pie. And uh, they, you know, did the, they were big on fan. And uh, they our like A&R guys best, like, whatever, something. Stellar really? single. Come on. They gave us a stellar single and put us on the cover and all of that. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Which, but, uh, <laughs> no. But the A&R guy, he heard it. You know, he pays this guy in New York City at Kim's Underground to, like, tell him about good bands and stuff. And uh, basically... <laughs> Basically, uh, he told uh, our a and guy about it, and, and, you know, he's, like, ready to roll, you know. And now here you are with a great record. Yes. Yeah. Yes, well, it's a great record. Something. Well, you, we're going to start off. First single is called Boyfriend, right? No. No? What is the first? See, I don't even know There's what the first no single, single is. Yet. Well, you, you know, a- you guys are used to singles and stuff because you're at a big, huge, 100,000-watt <laughs> radio station. But, you know, it's just going to come out. And okay. you guys will be the judge of the single. I mean... Make up yeah, your the own first mind. Song on the record, then. Okay, then we are going to do the first song, song on the record. It's called okay. Boyfriend, and it's about hating dudes with, well, hating girls who have boyfriends because I hate boyfriends. <laughs> and I love girls. Oh, God. Well, thank you very much. 89X, out of the box. Majesty Crush and Boyfriend. Nine X out of the box, brand new music from Majesty Crush. We kind of, that world premiere kind of thing. Uh, Uma and uh, Boyfriend, the first two songs from the album. I guess and we both should... fairly new songs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's we, talk uh, about them. Let's, let's, let's talk. Let's, let's start with <laughs> let's Uma, rap. and you tell us everything that it's about without using any profane language, though, please. Okay, Dave, go ahead. <laughs> well, <laughs> can you do it without the profanity? I was going to say no, no profanities. Odell, you know. take it. <laughs> I've seen Dean Martin once, and he's paralyzed on one side. <laughs> That's Rickles. That's like an inside joke. Wait, anyway, okay. Okay. so, <laughs> all right, Uma, yeah, dude, I saw uh, Baron von Munchausen, and uh, I just, yeah, the movie, and I, you know, I had a crush on uh, Uma, uh, just like... Uh, that seems to be kind of a theme throughout the record, though, is your kind of, your crushes on... <laughs> Women. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, thank God it's women, but... <laughs> oh, I have a tendency. So let's let's go through the number of songs that actually do deal with women. Uh, okay. Uma, Celis, which is about Monica, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, Cicciolina. Cicciolina. She's an Italian porn star. 
Mm-mm. Who's now a member of parliament? Isn't who was it? a member? Who was married to some Jeff Koons, Jeff Koons, who I hate, and but they're divorced now, so it's okay. I love him now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and boyfriend is yeah. about you said before. Yeah, I you know, I don't know. I mean, what am I going to write about? Like politics? You know? Nah. Like, no. You know, I, we're all kind of just I don't Healthy know. Help the young men. Yeah, you know, I don't have a girlfriend anymore. I used to. I, I had a ball and chain, you know, a few years ago. But, uh, you know, Ooh, now I'm just... correct, but that's okay. Well, well, you know, now I'm just looking for someone to love me like I've never been loved before. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Let's talk, about, let's talk about the uh, <laughs> Smart Studios. Yeah, Smart, Smart Stu- Studios. You guys mixed it there. You recorded it here in Detroit. Yeah, we recorded at White Room Studios. And we were brothers, our bros, our home bros. The vibe there was crucial. Uh, Did some at the Timber Mill with uh, Dave Feeney, uh, another great guy, another great studio to work with. And uh, things sounded good, but uh, we wanted a different kind of outside touch. And, uh, and uh, Muscles, <laughs> a.k.a. Muscles. Hobie. Hobie Eklund and I, uh, we went out there. And uh, we had to bunk in... Uh, a beautiful hotel where Elvis stayed and the Pumpkins and Ooh. Edie Gourmet and, you know, all those, like, weird Big variety stars. people and stuff, you know, and everybody that's kind of smart, whatever. And uh, we we mixed with uh, Doug Olson, who calls himself Mr. Colson, and he mixed um, Pa and uh, some other stuff. He actually played guitar on the cult thing with Butch Vig right. and stuff. And, and uh, I don't know, man, we just we mixed it there and we had fun. We drank wine every night and, and we came out with some really good mixes, you know. You certainly did. That's all I can say. I mean, what else can you say? It's a great record. It's um, thanks. But um, thanks, Mama. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Great. We have all this. Um, <laughs> How come you guys don't play Mule on the air here? Why don't we? Well, that's another question. Because right? I got the disc at home and I keep forgetting to bring it in. All right. Great. You play off my back. He stole all right. it. Okay. But um, okay. Distribute it. You guys. Twenty eighth is the release date for the record. Is it? Is it just U S. only right now? Or right now it's U S. Um, it's distributed with ADA which is a company that's just formed with people from Caroline and a lot of really, really put-together companies. And it's going to be distributed in the United States first, and WIA has the option to pick it up uh, in England after 90 days, but we might exercise and go with an independent. Um, our whole vibe with this record is a street-level thing. We're going to really concentrate on hitting college radio and doing a lot of different shows in a lot of different places just to, to get the street vibe going, to you know waste a whole lot of big bucks on trying to you know do this glitzy thing. That's not us. We want to really play some shows. We want to get the core fans in cities and uh, build a little following going. And well, um, that's the plan. Well, I think what we'll do is well, we're going to play some more music and then we're going to talk about um, touring because you guys just played with uh, one of my favorite bands. So that's we'll talk great. about all about that and then we're going to talk about uh, when, when we, people can see sex, you down here again. <laughs> okay, more sex. <laughs> well, we, we have to. It's Majesty Crush. We're going to play Grow. What's it about? Sex. <laughs> Imagine that. Figure that. It's Majesty Crush. Grow 89X out of the box. Nine X out of the box, Majesty Crush, Brand and Grow. Amazing. That's you know, it's, it's just like a word that just keeps coming up. Uh, you know, it's just like wow. See, I mean, this is really weird because I mean, how long have we known each other? It's been a few years now, three, four years, mm-hmm. and now you know the concept of interviewing you guys because you're going to be stars. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> My mom told me to say that. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Thanks, well, mom. We got to say that because they thanked us on the record too. So you know, we got to do something back for them. Too. That's right. Really under good. under five thousand sold, and we're stars anyway. Right on. We don't have to sell millions of records to be stars. That's a fallacy, and everybody knows it. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> so Thanks. has the therapy been working nowadays? <laughs> But Let's um, just talk about you guys just played a few shows with the Cranes, which is a really cool thing for you guys. Yeah, that was fantastic. Um, at the last minute, uh, one of the people that works at our label knows their road manager, and uh, we were able to play in Chicago last Wednesday at the Metro, sold out, and uh, Toronto, 
Friday. Lee's Palace. Lee's Palace. Great and place. Yeah, real cool sound. And Lee. Hot oh. chicks. <laughs> Good Canadian girls. Right on. Right on, eh? Healthy. Man, there was a girl that drove all the way from Manitoba to see the cranes, a 17 year old girl named Jennifer. No way. And, um, like, right before we did Number One Fan, I was just like, man, this girl is your number one fan for the crane. And she couldn't get in because she didn't have ID. She was oh, 17. Right. She She's was 17. bawling, man. Oh, and I was just, like, begging Allison to let her in. And oh. a- a- after the show, she, like, went outside and, you know. Wow. It took time with the girl, but it was. Dude, we're going to cry. You're, that was beautiful. <laughs> you know, God, he's a sensitive big guy. <laughs> I mean, they're a sensitive band, so they say they do things like that. She, they really are wonderful people, and it's no act. I mean, her voice is so childlike, but she really is innocent and cool. And last night, Rochester, New York, we played with them, and it was like the last of the three shows with them, and it was all community and good vibes and that kind of thing. So, is there anything else coming up that you guys are gonna be doing? Some touring or some anything like that? Um, at the end, we're going to CMJ, which is the conference in New York City. We're gonna play some dates around then. That's the beginning of November. That's then. Great. Take a little break, and at the end of November, we're going to go out for six weeks uh, between November and December before Christmas, do some uh, club dates, things like that, some areas we haven't hit, some regional touring, and then come back for a little bit and hopefully uh, start off in January or February with a, a slot with a, a larger tour, which is... Either that or hit Britain and Europe. Ooh. And then that's when, they're, that's when they really thank us. Instead of just a totally. name on a CD, they take us on <laughs> tour. Cash. And then uh, we hey, guys go are to... doing something local? Soon? Very soon. Th- well, I mean, let's talk about Thursday and then okay, whatever. Yeah, this is celeb- celebratory week for us. We've been waiting a long time, so we are going to have some fun. <laughs> Good sounds. Come on. <laughs> no, tomorrow night um, we're going to be at Play It Again Records, and uh, the CD officially will go on sale tomorrow night at midnight there, and we'll have a little wine and you know fromage ooh. and uh, ooh, ooh la la, <laughs> and uh, you know we'll like sign some. Breasts or something. <gasps> That's terrible. Oh my god! And then Thursday is <laughs> Thursday is the official release party at Industry. Um, Nine o'clock are the doors, and uh, we're going to do an acoustic set, or not exactly acoustic, but an electric set, lower volume in the Soroki room, nice and intimate, intimate. with all our friends. Touchy feely. Your friends. We can come up and grab you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's what they're kind of hoping. <laughs> but um, you know what? We should be so lucky. But right, tomorrow is the day that the CD is released, right? No, it's it's released Tuesday, but officially, you know, at twelve oh one. We're talking tomorrow is Tuesday. It's Monday already. Oh, it's not. Oh, there it dude, is. If you guys want to pull? Oh, oh, there, it there it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sorry. it'll be it'll be released twelve oh one. Play it again, records. Show up. We'll sell you a copy. Okay, well, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do make it kind of cool because we're gonna give some people that actually don't have to go to play it again. They're gonna get them right now. Five people will get um, a CD. Two nine eight seven triple X in Detroit. Seven nine two five thousand in Windsor. If you want a copy of um, Love 15 for Majesty Make Crush. it 10 people, please. You want it? You got 10 people? You yeah, go buy people? I will buy five CDs for another five people right now. Then, so there you 10 go. People. 10 people. Keep calling. You Keep guys calling are, for a while because yeah. it's going to take us a while to get 10 people. Kind of, not <laughs> no, to get t- ten, 10 names. To, so, to get it. Yeah, yeah because it, it, we're, we're stupid. So just keep calling. <laughs> but um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to play some more music right now. Do it. Let's, let's play a bunch. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna actually. Overtime. There we go. Okay, eighty eight point seven CIMX Windsor Detroit is eighty nine X Detroit's Modern Rock. We're going overtime with Majesty Crush because well they deserve it. Cool man. Don't get mad, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> this is an old song made new again, right? Right. I sang new vocals at Butch Vig Studio. This is Penny for Love eighty nine X out of the box with Majesty Crush. X out of the box, Majesty Crush with, uh, what did we play? This was Celis. That was Celis. That was Celis. I'm sorry. Look, I'm on the phone. Every phone line is lit up. Can I do this real quick? Do if it. If you're on the phone right now waiting to, um, if you're one of the winners, keep on the line because uh, we're just going to talk for a few minutes and, uh, and come back, back to you. Back. But keep dialing because we still have a few CDs left. So there you go. And we also had Penny for Love from the uh, album Love 15, which is brilliant. So what's with the tennis thing, guys? Well, I am... <laughs> I, um, I started learning tennis in Germany on clay um, <laughs> with uh, my, my aunt. You know, she was kind of 
born like right after the bombings and stuff in Germany and you know started progressively making more money so she wanted to teach the little mulatto boy tennis <laughs> which you know I seeing so that is this I, a, a I played of yours now is this well like, no I you call it love 15 you got a song <laughs> about you know Monica Sellis and I'm just curious I mean if it's not nothing major so no okay. I'm t- let me tell you I, okay. I'm pretty athletic and I, I learned tennis really pretty quickly <laughs> And uh, I, I took a lot of lessons. Oh, I'm, I'm so modest, aren't I? No, but I, I took a lot of lessons. And uh, anyway, I've always followed the game. I want to name my first kid McEnroe Strotter. And, uh, but oh, seriously. Women, so, don't uh, marry him. Do not let this guy bleed. Come on, McEnroe. Beth, I love you. McEnroe Strotter. Anyway, no, okay, sell let's, us. Let's, sorry. Let me, let me tell us. Can I tell us? Sorry? Do we have time? Sell us? I, I'll, I'll make it quick. Really quick. All right, look. All right. At Wimbledon last year, she was grunting, right? She was grunting. And, and they had. Whenever she hits the ball, yeah. Right. And in England, they had the grunt to a meter. They really got on her about the grunting. They oh. made her stop grunting. And she lost. And uh, it, game away. it really bugged me because she's been grunting for three years. And in England, they're so stodgy and stuck up. And I can't say what I want to say. But, <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah. And it bugged me. And I wrote the song way before the stabbing. And, uh,. You know, just it, she just touched my heart, man, and that's what it's about. Great, he likes women who grunt. <laughs> well, who doesn't? <laughs> well, <laughs> who doesn't? I'm glad you said that. Uh, let's let's once again push the stuff that's going on. We got a show coming up at St. Andrews. Okay, um, first of all, I'll play it again tomorrow night, midnight. Let's drink some wine. Uh, <laughs> industry Eat Thursday. Some cheese. Don't forget drink the cheese. That wine. <laughs> Dig that pool. <laughs> Record release party, uh, Thursday in the street, and October 23rd, we're going to do a show that Saturday night at St. Andrew's Hall. We're going to try to get a band called Poem Rocket in from New York that uh, is a great friend of ours who writes for Alternative Press. And Big Block, local heroes, who wannabes. They're going to kill me for that, but... That's okay. I love it. There's a few people who are probably going to want to... Whatever. That's right. Guys, so thank you guys, so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having This is a brilliant CD, and I'm really excited for you. Thanks a lot. And we want to go to England when you tour. In stores on Tuesday. Buy it. 15. It's really pretty. And uh, we're going to leave you with uh, feigned sleep. Good night. Good night. 89X out of the box. Majesty crush.